Hello to everyone guys. Um, today in this video, I will just show you how to change um, a POS interface button. Um, so basically what I mean that if we want to change the label of um, any button in POS interface, point of sale interface. Actually, some of our subscriber friend um, just asked me about this. Uh, so let's do this today. So first of all, as usual, I'm using uh, Odoo 16. If I go in settings. So this is Odoo 16 Community Edition. And as usual, for IDE, I'm using Visual Studio Code and my custom module is customization. So let me just explain you what I'm talking about today regarding the task. So if we go in apps, we can search here point of sale. So this is the application point of sale. If you have not installed it, you can install it. So once it's been installed, you can go in apps and click on point of sales. Click on continue selling. And here, if you see this, this is a button here quotation or order. And there is a image, small image, um, Odoo icon link as well. So if you click on quotation, so we can just choose on quotation or order number, sales order number. So the request was that if we want to change the label of, so what I mean here, uh, the label of this button where it's written quotation or order we want to change it with um, anything uh, company order or anything so basically this is the task which we want to do it today okay so let's start this if we go in visual studio so first of all in our custom module which is customization in my case um, we need to create a file but first of all, I want to show you this file, which I have already taken out. So for that, you need to go in point of sale, point of sale, which is in Odoo modules. If you go in Odoo modules in add-ons, in add-ons, and then you need to go in point of sale, not um, POS underscore sale. This is where this button is. So the module name is POS underscore sale and then um, in static, in source and then in XML folder, there is a XML file set sale order button. So this is the code for that button. So what we need to do, we need to inherit this template, uh, which is set sale order button. This is a template name and we need to replace this div with our um, custom div. So for that, what we need to do, we need to create a file and for that in our custom module, which is this customization in static already I have created source in source already I have created XML folder and in XML there is a new file I create. I, I would say POS underscore customization. Dot XML. I copy this and then in manifest. Okay. Uh, because this is a, uh, assets template, uh, how we are giving reference in manifest. So, what we need to do after data after data uh, what we say we say assets here and then how we need to write we need to write point sale dot assets and 
and then we need to give the path which is first module name which is customization uh, customizations which is Z sorry okay and then the folder name is static as source XML and then the file name which is POS customization dot XML let's paste this again yeah okay that's cool so this is how we need to give reference in manifest file so we need to add in assets and as what is the asset point of sale dot assets and we are adding this file if we will add any JS file so we will create a new folder in JS uh, in uh, source JS and then we will add that file and then we will give the reference here in the similar way okay uh, already we have created this file and we need to inherit that file which already uh, I have spoken few bits so let's copy this or what I do I just let's copy this all and paste it here so uh, this will be unchanged this is the uh, predefined thing the second templates uh, ID is equal to template XML space preserve yes that we, we don't need to change that uh, then T T name is set sale order button okay yeah that's fine and here we will add inherit underscore id okay uh, inherit id first of all module name which is pos underscore sale dot um, the template name which is this one copy this and we paste it here okay and then the next thing we would say t inherit dash mode and in here we would say extension because this is further extension to this template we are extending this okay and uh, then all is equal to one yes we don't need to change that okay then the next line we would we are going to do X path and we are going to replace this div which is um, already I have told you so in that div we will uh, target the class and class is control button let's copy that class control C that's it uh, and sorry let's Okay, we will say position replace we are going to replace this with our dev <clears throat> and control X and we will put it there so the same class we will replace it with control button or sale order button yeah that's fine and then I class yeah we also want this um, link uh, this image as well yeah it's all okay but here rather than quotation order we will say company um, order number or anything you want this is just uh, just for example so that's it
let's restart Odoo service and upgrade our module. I hope um, it will work. So what we going to do, we are going to upgrade our module and in this case it's this one general customization. Before it was um, quotation slash sale order and we have changed it to company sale order or anything you like. So it's upgrading. It has been upgraded. Uh, let's click point of sale. Click continue selling and it will start um, the recent session. That's it. And if you see here company order number so it has been replaced um, the label which was quotation or sale order it has been replaced with company order number which is so cool so yeah this is how you can do that again let me just recap it uh, you need to create a file in static source xml and your file name you need to give reference in manifest in assets so because this point of sale application dot assets and this is the module name your custom module name static folder name source folder xml and then this is file name pos customization dot xml and one more thing uh, you need to give point of sale the module name in which the file we are inheriting pos underscore sale and also point of sale in depends this is very important you also need to give it uh, the reference in depends so i hope you like this video guys if you like it please uh, like it sh share it subscribe it um, and yeah and we will come with another topic thank you so much yes bye